Sven from Aborted, how's it going with the the band these days? You got got a new album coming out very soon. Yep, um, things are good. We're uh, we're excited to finally get it out. It's uh, you know we've been ready. With, you know the record's been finished in uh, mid July, so it's been quite a wait for us. So we're excited. It's almost ex- released. Global Flatline. Where does this title come from? Ah, uh, well, it pretty much means the end of the world. Uh, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just, uh, you know, the the whole theme and, uh, you know, idea we had for the record. And let's say for the production value of the album, did you guys go a different route this time or was kept the same aborted way on recording the album? Yeah, it was pretty straightforward. Uh, pretty straightforward, you know. We 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 did everything in in three weeks, including you know mixing, mastering, recording, and uh, you know we just started in when did the drums in about four days, and then guitars took a little over a week, bass took a couple of days, vocals four days, and then we started mixing. So it went pretty smooth and you know pretty pretty usual. And with this, you guys are gonna be touring for this album. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we're we're starting two weeks from now. We're going to Brazil with Exhumed. Um, and then we're going to the UK uh, with um, Decapitated, I believe. After that, we have the Neurotic Death Fest in Europe, and we're, we will be going to the States in April. And what do you think of touring nowadays, you know, compared to when the band first started? Why well, it's very different because we're you know we're more experienced and our position on the bill is you know a little bit better so we we have better conditions and everything so it's it's a lot more relaxed and better than it was back in the days uh however the scene changed a lot and you know you can notice that in in the last couple years uh you know draws in general for shows are not what they used to be like let's say 10 years ago could that be due to economy in some sense, or is it the... Yeah, yeah, obviously. I mean, I think it, in one hand, has to do with the economy, and the other hand, there's, you know, so many bands on tour, so many shows, so many albums released, you know. People have a limited amount of time and resources, and there's so much things to choose for from that, you know, at a certain point, you know, it's going to affect everybody. In debt metal in general, would you say that it's it's healthy nowadays, you know, still? What touring all the time? Well, like uh, let's say this, the album sales, everything in general, the people discovering new music and and death metal and stuff like that. Is it uh, continuing to grow in your eyes? Um, I would say it is continuing to grow, but not in album sales. In album sales, I, I think it's not a you know a, a secret to anyone that album sales have been down sugar for everybody in, in the last years. Um due to what you know there's various reasons but uh if you would say is it still growing or people still um you know finding out new bands and listening to more music yes obviously they are and the scene is growing and you know people go to shows but there definitely is a, a decrease in album sales for everybody let's say going to south america to play How's the reception mm-hmm. taken for you guys in those places? I have no idea. We've never been. This will be the first time. Uh, we did Mexico before, which was really good. The crowd was, you know, was, was fucking insane. They were beating the living shit out of each other. But uh, we've never been to Brazil, so we're, you know, we're really excited to go out there and see what it's like. What's some of the best places you play nowadays? Like that, you know, the the people are so into it. Oh, it, it really depends. I mean. Just, Dates are always nice because people are a little bit more, you know, outgoing with their, you know, enthusiasm. In Europe, it really depends on, on the country. Uh, France is really good for us. Um, usually, Eastern Europe is really good. Uh, some parts of Germany are really cool. Uh, it, it really depends, you know, on, on the tour that you're on, and you know, but but usually France for us is, is definitely one of the highlights in Europe. Now, going to your album artwork, this artwork mm-hmm. is very. Um very well drawn who uh, designed this album cover uh justin uh, osborne from slasher design the artwork and uh, yeah i, I think he did a fucking killer job 
that's fine. I mean, that's one thing that, you know, has been affected a bit less uh, throughout the last year because people can't really, you know, download shirts. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, uh, I mean, as far as merch sales go, we, we really can't complain. Now, let's say you go on tour. Do you write material on tour, or is it strictly when you're at home? Uh, it's more when you're at home. That's why we took such a you know such a long time off to really focus um, on uh, you know on the writing. Cause, I mean, you can write on tour, but it's not really an ideal environment. You can get you know we get some basic ideas on tour, but uh, on the you know on the other hand, it's uh, it's tough. It's better to be completely focused in, in what you're doing uh, than, you know, be distracted by the shows or by, you know, partying and, and whatnot. Well, Sven, is uh, excellent talking to you, and uh, hopefully you guys get a great tour this 2012 and uh, look forward to seeing this album released, Global Flatline. Right. Thank you, man. All, All right. right. Take care. You have Bye -bye. a good one. You too.